Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Jamal Crawford. J Crossover, obviously one of the more electric players of my childhood, was just really fun to watch on the Hawks and the Clippers, among other teams. Um, obviously, a super, super fun highlight reel. Really, really good player. And maybe not like the most winningest player in terms of his play style, but damn if he wasn't fun to watch. Um, big fan of Jamal Crawford. Always think his cards are fun to use. 2k as well so i'm excited to try this card out a 6.5 pg gonna have a lot of versatility offensively definitely gonna be a lot of fun to use and i want to see how good he really is but before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado j crossover six foot five pg 99 offense and 98 defense 97 driving layup 97 draw foul 95 close shot 94 mid range 92 three ball 95 free throw 85 driving dunk which honestly is not terrible uh 99 ball handle 75 block, 89 steel, 89 perimeter, 84 interior. The defense is pretty lacking at this point in the year, but 95 speed, speed ball and excel, 95 vert, 90 strength, or sorry, 90 lateral quickness, but 70 strength. I think he'll struggle defensively, especially on the interior. He's going to feel small, even at only 6'5", but he does have hop acro, fast twitch, pro touch, agent three, blinders, dead eye, limitless handles for days, hyperdrive, unpluckable glove, pick dodger, bunny, float game, scooper, spin cycle, two step, blow by, speed booster, rise to gripper, all that type of stuff. He'll be a fun card to use, and I think really, really good offensively. He is a capable slasher. He's got gold finishing badges, gold defensive badges as well i wish he had off defensive badges no aerial wins or sorry no movable enforcer at all still needs anchor and brick wall added for sure as well so like i said he will struggle in certain areas defensively but i think offensively he should be really fun to use and i think he's good enough as a slasher as well to be super solid in that aspect so sigs wise really nice behind the back that's a w um escape is not very good but that is okay it's just unfortunate honestly you don't def definitely don't want a bad escape um uh, debug dribble style will work his release is absolutely money. He's going to be an elite level shooter. He's actually got pretty good sigs. And slashing wise, he's good too. It's just he's not a great defender, which is an issue. I think that is going to be a problem. And then the bad escape limits his playmaking ability. If this card had an elite escape, I would be a lot higher on him, honestly, um, as just an, an all around offensive card. But he doesn't have a great escape. And that's one of the most important sigs in the game. So that hurts him a bit. At the same time, the release is phenomenal. Slashing wise, he's not bad. I think he's got normal fade, which I will admit is not my favorite fade in the world. But it it does get the job done it's definitely easy to green and it's not bad at all so i think this jamal murray or jamal crawford card should be an absolute blast to use should be really versatile and really fun offensively and defensively he's got decent size i just don't think the badges are quite where they need to be but if you upgraded his badges he could be a really good point guard i'm excited about this j crossover honestly he's a little better at least in freestyle than i thought he was gonna be so let's hop into a game see what jamal can do all right hopping into this game we're going up against todd Gurley. I doubt it's the real Todd Gurley, but we are playing Todd Gurley. So attack the Ram. Jamal Crawford, 85 driving dunk gets blocked immediately. He doesn't have the best dunk animations in the world. He's not going to be like this OP slasher or anything, but that's okay. Get bombed back. We'll take it. Um, we get blocked and then we get a steal right back and we're going to get a transition take foul, which means Jimmy gets free throws. I was kind of hoping it would be Jamal, but Jimmy gets a free throw. He knocks that down. Let's put the ball in Jamal Crawford's hands. Make sure we are in our freelance and space the floor and run some offense. He is going to be about as good as a shot creator as it gets. This dude's got Harden at the one who's obviously not the greatest defender in the world um stop pop fade i didn't mean to fade but i think i hit i did not hit it okay i lied um i for some reason i thought I, i'm shooting that we got blinders there we go that's a good shot okay as long as you can get used to the escape not being good his release is phenomenal you don't need a ton of space to get it off i think you can kind of finagle your way into some fat stops and some crabs and some shots off of screens and that type of stuff i just gave a wide open three that he just missed we'll take that got a little lucky there um uh, push the ball up the court here behind the back pull up and that's no foul is kind of unlucky he jumped from pretty far the reason i shot that was because he was relatively far away didn't really expect him to close out that that aggressively but surprised it wasn't a foul unfortunately it was not but that's okay two point game sorry one point game here um let's drive the ball and let's see what we can do he is playing a little too aggressively i'm going to the rim jamal crawford finished the dunk that time 85 driving dunk gold precision dunker it's big enough to where you can relatively confidently stick dunk i think i think the green one is big enough to where i feel pretty confident consistently hitting it uh and then defensively like obviously the badges need some work he needs anchor brick wall for sure and obviously all pr pretty close to all gold badges isn't great but 6'5", he doesn't have the worst player build in the world. He can compete in some areas. By here again, behind the back, back to this way. Same side burst, stop, attack, burst, off the screen, open three ball. Oh my gosh, I'm tired and I missed. Oh, that's, I'm so sick of getting slowed down on my shot or just missing because I'm tired because the timing is slightly different and it's just like 
Does fatigue, I don't know, maybe, and I guess they have to figure out some way to make fatigue matter a little bit in my team, but it's just, yeah, the way they do it frustrates me. It is what it is. Um... Not able to make that shot. We got four points to Jamal, but I feel like we should have seven. Maybe I should have just greened it anyway. I should have adjusted. I didn't get a huge slowdown there. It was just a slight like load-up animation. Should have been able to knock it down, and that's on me. Uh, but burst here, between the behind the back, fat stop in front, stop, pop. That is nasty. Oh, that was such a nasty move. I missed early last time, so I tried to adjust, and now I miss late. Like, bro, I'm so sick of the, the shooting in this game sometimes. Maybe I just suck. I don't know why I'm blaming the game for me missing an open shot. That one didn't get slowed down either. That's just, I, I think I shot it expecting more of a slowdown, I guess. So there's a wide open one. That should be, bro, okay, that one I don't know. Slightly early, I did not feel slightly early. Um, he's getting good looks. He's getting good looks. I'm just not converting at this point. Um, play the driving lane. No, we do not. We get dunked on by Harden anyway. And we are down three right now. Have missed three open shots in a row. Can we make it four in a row? Probably, right? Stopping and popping. And of course, we get slowed down again. A freaking load up. You, I don't know if y'all can tell, if y'all can see this type of stuff. But the way the gameplay is, is just... It is so interesting the way the consent system works. And not good interesting, but definitely interesting. Board here, run the floor again, back over again. I feel like I'm just beating my beating my head against the wall at this point, but we're going to keep on trying to get him involved. Same side burst again, attack downhill, back out to this pop, and I get... Ay, 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 2K. Uh, I don't think he moves well enough. I don't think he moves well enough. Without a great escape, maybe it's just me, but without a great escape, I just... Uh, he's not good enough defensively, and he doesn't move well enough for me without a great escape. Uh, if he had a really good escape, I think I would be more interested in over overlooking it, but he does not. The amount of shots I've missed, though, is just very frustrating to me. It's, it feels like it's a common theme these days. I'm missing a free throw as well, 83%. Good Lord. Just can't buy a, can't buy a bucket right there. Finally, green a free throw. Knock that one down. Maybe seeing the color green will turn around my shooting. Um... Play some defense here. Step up. Show me that you can defend, Jamal. Show us that you can defend, Jamal. Okay, he tried his best. He was doing pretty good for a while there. Should have gone up, honestly. He would have had a layup with Harden. We're fine. 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 You're, you're battling. We're good. He throws a bad lob, and it goes out of bounds. All right, two-point game. Minute 20 left. Can we make an open shot with... With uh, Jamal Crawford, probably not. Can we get an open shot with Jamal Crawford? He's starting to get tired, but we've been able to get a good amount of him. So hopefully we can continue to at least get some good shots. Um, good look here. We'll take our dump down, though. He's forced to help up. That's the value of that fat stop right there. Get in front of a defender. Make him provide some help. Make him uncomfortable and create some separation. At that point, it separates for the teammate. But good D. There we go. Jamal Crawford. That's a couple solid possessions in a row defensively. That was a nice one, especially right there. Cut off Harden really effectively. Close out on the, on the bad shot. Not a good decision. And tie game, 58 seconds left. We're bursting between the legs, attacking off the screen. He got a really good... Oh, we're good. Give me a dunk. Let's go. 6-5 gives me a standing dunk. We will take it. The amount of missed shots this game has really cost us because at this point I'm pretty tired. But we're doing the best we can. Step up on the pop. Click there. We're good. Play this. Ooh, that's... She should have shot it. He was wide open and he didn't shoot it. I don't know why he didn't shoot it, but he didn't. What are you doing? He's scoring, but why are you not? He refuses to pass the ball to Paolo Bacchero and shoot the ball. I don't get it. Um, same side burst. Attack. Fat stop in front. Pull up. Please green it. It's such a tight window shot. If I have sharp take, I can probably green that. But outside of that, it's just a little bit too tight window of a shot. Probably kind of forcing things there. Cut off the dribble drive. Very honestly, like not a bad job defensively at all by this Crawford card. I just have really struggled offensively. That last shot was a little bit misguided, but some of the shots we've missed have been anything but misguided. Uh, and there we go. There's a stop. Run the floor. Six. You know, it'll all be forgiven if we hit a game winner. I'll tell you that right now. Pull up. Come on, Jamal. I don't know. I, I don't know why I can't shoot with this card. I don't understand it. I was greening everything in freestyle. Everything. And now I can't make a shot. I understand he's tired. That's a wide open shot for the win. Just green it. Oh. Uh, I don't know. A couple of the shots I know I've missed because of slowdowns. A couple of them I've just missed because I'm bad. In the honest, Is the honest truth. Um... And he wins the tip. All right. I think we're going to actually end up potentially losing this game. You better you better get a stop, Jamal. You better get a stop. The amount of missed, missed shots you've had, you better get a stop. Good D, Jamal. Manually get a stop. I can't shoot at all, but all it takes is one bucket here, and we will win this game regardless. It doesn't matter. Attack the Ram. Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford is apparently a slasher because I can't shoot the ball to save my life. Nine points, one assist, one steal. 0 of 8 from 3 is incredibly embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I am so garbage for that. I should have greed like three of those at least. 
Maybe more than that. I mean, some of them were load ups, but even the load ups, I should be able to adjust in green. You know what? The card itself is pretty good. He created a lot of shots. I don't like the bad escape. Athletically, he's not bad. Defensively, he was better than I anticipated. And he did actually get us a couple of clutch stops. So I'll give him credit there. If y'all are better at shooting than I am, apparently, and can shoot with some skill, you might like this Jamal Crawford. Me, personally, apparently I suck. So that's not the case. But I, I'm not going to use this card, personally. I don't think he's a competitive little point guard. But he's fun to use. And it'd be nice if I could shoot with him because I think I would have had even more fun. So hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.